The guys at Motu have created a whole bunch of new plugins in DP8. They look good, they sound good, and they're really easy to use. And I look forward to showing you more of them in the course to follow. In this tutorial, I'm going to focus on one, the Dynamic Equalizer. Now, for those of you that are a little bit confused about the actual DAW itself, don't worry, move on to the next courses where you'll learn how to use things from the very beginning. This is just the teaser. So let's take a look at this stereo drum file that I've created. And it used to be a whole bunch of mono audio files, you know, snare drum, kick drum, hats, etc., etc., and then overheads, of course. And I've put it all into one so I can handle it easier when I'm mixing in the final stages. There's one thing though, the snare's a little hot, and what I want to do is use this dynamic equalizer to just soften the snare up. And it also sounds pretty cool to do things this way. You'll see in a moment, and I've solo enabled that track. So when we solo later on, we'll hear just the drum track. So let's take a listen. First thing we see is this squiggly line and that represents the frequencies and the decibels in real time. And that is done through something called the Fast Fourier Transform, and for those tech geeks that know what that is, just love it. And now we're gonna change the graph to six dB, so plus and minus six dB. And we can change it to plus and minus three dB, and also plus and minus 24 dB. It just helps you see things better. Let's take a look at the frequencies in peak control group one. And we're gonna turn that on over here. And now peak control group one has been turned on. Let's click and drag down some of those frequencies. You can see in the equalizer, the number values have changed. And I'm gonna turn on the static response curve, which is that green line. Next, we're going to turn on the dynamic response curve. And then we're just going to highlight what we've done to peak control group one. It's just a personal preference, if you'd like. So, fast Fourier transform is on right now. We can have it to pre or post. Check this out. Now it's showing us what our peak control group one is doing to the actual waveform itself. I'm gonna solo the peak control group. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Option, Control, Shift, and S, and we're just gonna solo the drum track. And now that we've soloed the drum track, I wanna solo this control group and turn the boost up on that control group. And now we're gonna take a look at the threshold, how much of a threshold envelope for this control group, peak one. Let's do an AB before, and now after. And now we're gonna play with the attack. I wanna cut some of those transients or the attacky sounds. That sounds good to me. Good with the release. Let's go to the ratio. Now if I turn it to the left, we actually get an expander. And I just need to press one on the numeric keypad. That will bring us back to the top of the session. Now let's take a look at the minimum gain for this band. Let's change the graph to plus and minus 36 dB. And then we can see that dynamic response curve moving there. And the look ahead that we have over here basically helps with the calculation for the compression and it takes into account what's happening after the current moment that we're hearing right now. I'm gonna change the threshold just a little bit more. I think I'm getting what I want here. There we go. Now 
Now it sounds pretty good. So now let's listen to this in the context of the track. Nice, that sounds really good. So we can also play with the threshold on the meter over here as well. I'm loving it. And I think this dynamic equalizer is a great addition to Digital Performer 8. <laughs> 